Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Light Shark. In particular, some of my top tips, uh, some of my favorite little features and tricks that you're going to find inside the Light Shark um, that you may or may not know about if you've been using it. And then in our next video, we're going to go and we're going to talk about the new features in the Light Shark this year. As I'm covering this month, all the consoles that I like to cover, um, all the consoles that I found to be the best in their class that we cover the, here, um, I go ahead and I cover those and, and I want to cover the new features this year for all of them. And I got to tell you, there's some great stuff, um, particularly the Light Shark camp has some really cool stuff that I'll be glad to show you in the next video. Subscribe if you're not already. But for today, we're going to talk about the things that aren't new that are some of my favorite things inside the Light Shark. Okay. So the first one that I like is Knockout. Okay. Have you ever been programming? Maybe you go ahead, you press find, you adjust some pan and tilt. I think I have some palettes built in this. Nope. That's another show file. Um, you adjust some things and then you go in your programmer and you say, oh man, there is stuff here in the programmer that I really don't need and I really don't want to be part of my show. There are things in here that just, um, you know, I don't want to record into my next queue. What do you do? Well, you could clear and then bring back only the attributes that you want, leaving things like uh, the shutter here was at zero, red, green, and blue are at full. Maybe you don't want those recorded in this queue. Well, we can use knockout, just press delete and press any column, any individual cell or any row. And those go away. If you're on an LS one, which I might reach over to soon, real quick, you can delete those out of there. And the LS one has a physical delete key. Get my finger on it there and I can get rid of all these extra attributes. And so say, for example, by pressing find, I had brought all this other stuff in, but really all I want is intensity, pan, and tilt. I just knocked everything else out. Now I've got only the things that I want. I can go ahead, record that, go ahead with that. Done. All right. And those other attributes aren't accidentally jumping in and controlling the light at times that I don't want to. And the next thing that I really like using in the light shark is the update function. So whether I'm using a palette, whether I'm using a cue, I can update those if I need to, if there's new information, new stuff that I need to work with. Okay. So let's just say I go in here and I have a magenta queue here and I want to update that queue. Okay. Um, I've already cleared my program or I've already recorded the queue. How do I update it? There's a few easy ways to do that. The first, if it's, if it's a very small change, you can go to the queue list window here, find your queue, tab over, and you can literally, this is just a big spreadsheet, and you can touch in any of the cells and change the value. If you're doing more than just like a subtle intensity change on a couple lights, then that's going to be too slow for you. Um, in that case, I can press edit, press my queue number. That loads into the programmer. We just saw that. Here it is. Go ahead, use the knockout, use any other tools you want. Like maybe I just take these, these TX5s or everything, uh, only clear ones. Boom, everything else yellow, just the TX5 magenta. Okay, I like that. Then I just press update. And now my queue is updated. And when I refire it, should look as desired. Try that again super quick. At this guy. Something, I did not press something right the first time. So like I said, go in, make sure that I press clear once to deselect my fixtures. Press, you know what, I bet I'm in the wrong clear mode. Boom, and then we should see if we re-clear that, I messed up the first time, got it right the second time. Re-execute that cue, boom, the change is made. If it was a preset, we could, or a palette rather, as they call them in Lightshark, we could go ahead and totally update that palette, be good to go. Now, the last quick tip I have for Light Shark, the last feature that I really like are the executor modes, okay? So these mo these executors, by default, uh, when you're in the Light Shark, everything vertical um, overrides each other and everything horizontal can be played together. If you want, though, in the main menu, in the settings, there is an executors mode right here under show settings. 
and it's either exclusive or normal. So normal is as I just described it, going vertically, uh, cues override each other automatically, going side to side, they're able to coexist, okay? Now, if you want um, exclusive mode, what exclusive mode does, which is really cool for a lot of fixed installations, uh, maybe smaller churches, venues, uh, restaurants, etc., cetera, um, parking garages, whatever. Um, if you pop this into exclusive mode, now only one executor at a time out of the whole grid of buttons will be active. So you can go ahead and build different full looks, different looks that have all your lights in it or some of your lights, but they're designed to just be played one at a time. And you build a grid of those, you press those buttons, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, and, and only one is ever gonna play back at a time. When one uh, is, when a new one is played, the next, the previous one fades out and it's nice and smooth and easy. Okay, so that's my third big tip on the light shark, my third favorite thing that I really like that will save you time and save you frustration. Now, if you liked this video and you want more, uh, we've got the complete guide to light shark among other things over inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Go check that out at learnstagelighting.com slash labs. And we will see you in our next video, which we'll be talking about the new stuff in the light shark this year. And there's some really good stuff. You don't want to miss it. We will see you there. Thanks.